Welcome to another episode of Rex's Adventures. We're out today on Real Screamer Fishing Charters. Mate, Kevin, how are you? Yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Glad to have a heavy board. Yeah, no, look, we're looking forward to it. We're excited. We're targeting whiting, and we're going to show you guys a little bit about whiting. Uh, I don't know a lot about catching whiting, and I can I can he tell a lie. I've got no idea, really. Uh, I tried, we failed, and now we book Kevin. It's as simple as that. That's pretty much how it worked out. So, um, we're really excited today about heading out and obviously we're out here, it's a total glass off, it's a beautiful day. So we're out here to have a crack and see how we go. Um, Kevin, I might just ask you, can we tell everyone a little bit about whiting, what we're using for bait and how we're going about it? Yeah, okay, so here at Point Certain we catch whiting all year round, but we've yep. got different seasonal fish. So at the moment we're right in the heart of winter, wouldn't believe it, it's great weather though. Yeah. Um, so hopefully the fish are larger. Yeah, fishing on winter bottom, which is generally a, a harder top of bottom, a little bit of a little bit of stone, a little bit of heavy weed. Okay. And in, when we fish in summer, we fish more on the tapeweed grounds. Okay. So it's completely different. Um, yeah. So hopefully we chuck a line in. And we'll, uh, Catch a couple. Do very well. And for bait, we're using the Gore Pippi or cockle. Yeah. So we use a, we'll use cockles as a start off because yep. I like to stir the fish up, get yep. some uh, biting a lot more freely. Yep. And then if we have a bit of an issue with the local leverjacker population, which is a bit of a pain, we'll move on to fresh squid. Awesome. Well, let's get started. Oh. You got doubles. You got doubles. Good fish too. Good start to the morning. <laughs> That's a good fish. Beautiful. Oh, fantastic. This is a lot of fun. You guys got to get out here and do this. This is great. That's He's a, a fighter. Fish. That's a good fish. That'd be sad. Good fish. Look at that. No chips required with that one. What do you think of this, Rex? Yeah, this is pretty good. How are you going, Vera? Yours is in? Yeah. That mine. easy. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Showing you how it's done. Yeah, not wrong. I think this fish is not too bad. Actually, I've got the double. Well done, mate. Well done. Good fish, too. You don't often get fishing like this. Absolutely fantastic. Oh! <laughs> okay, you won the you won the bike contest. It's only in there for a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's not long. This is dream fishing. It doesn't get better than this. Eating well tonight. Well done, mate. That's good. Look at the bend. Yeah. Fantastic. That's a good fish. I'm gonna go 
Let's get some gang. I'm gonna get 30 more. 39. <laughs> nah, I don't know. It's hard to say. It looks like I've got a good wiring on. I'm having a ball. This is fantastic. I am loving it. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm going to give you a crash course. So we're fishing a little bit away from the traditional anchoring toss uh, method. We're going to be doing some drifting. So on the bottom, we've got a weight. But at the moment, the boat's drifting and the weight is just pumping up the sand. So it's basically like a plow on a farmer's paddock. It's disturbance. Now the weight itself would be about a rod length away from the boat. But that's not where the fish are going to be. The fish will actually be in the disturbance. They're very inquisitive and just feeding in amongst all the puffed up sand and bits of broken weed. So we cast back into the disturbance. Just let it sink. Now normally when we're drifting, the whiting are a lot more aggressive because the boat's moving. So unlike at an anchor spot where the fish can be timid, the bites hopefully will be quite substantial and quite quick. So, uh, okay, we're getting a bite straight away. There you go mate, that is a good fish too. There you go mate, you're on. That's, that's the last demo. Yeah, okay. Can you keep the system secret? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's fantastic. Good fish, Lee. Excellent. Absolutely. Well done. How good's that? Real time fishing. It goes to show you how you catch them. That's fantastic, mate. Did you like that? I did like that. Other than the fact that I hooked my shirt with the uh, fish there. It's okay. But yeah, that's uh, unbelievable. And a beautiful fish, too. Yeah, guess what? You've got to go catch your own. <laughs> Okay. Have a good day, mate. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that. All right, it looks like I can catch my own. We're gonna have a crack. There we go. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty interactive fishing, isn't it? Good fish, buddy. Yeah. That's great. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's pretty Look happy. at that bottom one. What do, you, what do you reckon of that, Rex? Point certain. It is absolutely fantastic. The fishing is off the charts. I'm glad you're enjoying, mate. Yeah, I'm oh, having a ball. Absolute ball. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you so much, <laughs> mate. It's fantastic. Look at Can fish. I ask who's the bigger fish out of those? Mine, definitely the bottom one. That one. <laughs> Sorry, Rex. <laughs> 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 Just the way it is. That is not good. Do not ask these questions. <laughs> <laughs> this one's okay, it's still a good fish. <laughs> Watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, Baby, feel free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me I got you wrapped around my finger But don't you try to call me tomorrow 
I'm quickly going to do a butterfly fillet. First cut is just under there. I'm just cutting down so I can just fill the rib cage. I do a guideline cut. I go through to the anal area, push down all the way through. I open up the fillet. And I just are now running around the rib cage. So no bones. I open him up. I just go underneath the belly. Straight away, all the bones are just there. So it's exactly the same cut. I just go down, I keep the head on. Guideline cut. I'm only going down about a centimetre. It's just purely a guideline. You go to the anal, push down through, flick it over, open up the fillet. Going around the rib cage again, around and under. And we have got a boneless butterfly fillet. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, the weekend has come to its end. We broke out a beer. Fantastic weekend. We have had an absolute ball. I cannot thank Kevin enough. We've we've had a great time. And uh, honestly, real screamer charters. And it comes down to two things. One, local knowledge. It, he knows what he's doing and, and we've learnt a lot. I've done a lot of whiting fishing. I'm not gonna pretend that I haven't, but I was shit at it, <laughs> you know, like, Call a spade a spade, but uh, I've learned heaps. And if you want to come out and if you want to learn a whole heap, come and give it a go. Get over here, put some money in the local economy, have a crack. And uh, you know, it's what Rex's Adventures is about, is actually promoting you know, local operators and local people. And we went to the pub last night, the pub meal was great. And we've had an absolutely great weekend. We've bagged out on fish, we, we hit our quota for, uh, for squid, cannot ask for more than that. And not only that, we've had a lot of laughs and a lot of good times along the way. So if you've got an opportunity, get over here, get on the website, Real Screamer Fishing Chart is fantastic. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We need subscriptions, guys. So get on there, the button's there. I'm just gonna point, I think it's there somewhere. And the other one, of course, is thumbs up. The uh, YouTube algorithm loves it. So if you can hit thumbs up and if you've enjoyed this video, get down there and subscribe to Rex's Adventures. It's fantastic and we're doing the best that we can to bring you content that hopefully helps you catch King George Whiting. It's called King George for a reason. Beautiful fish to eat, beautiful fish to catch. So uh, until next time, stay tuned. Another exciting video is coming. All right, have a great weekend. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so not believable. We're gonna have to cut that. Well, we're off the brag, Matt. Off Matt. The chart. We're off the brag, Matt. I've got to get a bigger roller for you, Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Amelia. Just uh, take note. We needed a bigger ruler. Okay. Just throwing that out there. And we are. Just over 40. Well done. Fantastic fish. Very happy with that. Chuck him in the esky and this is gonna be dinner. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a bit of a bite to them for such a small fish. Is that big yours, Amelia? Not that. I think we've got a record set already for today. How big's yours, Rex? Yeah, I reckon mine's pretty big. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's bigger than Amelia's. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's test that. <laughs> Swing him up, mate. Yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Wait on. Let's actually have a little test here. I'll just test my arm. Alright, what have we got there? 36. 36. So, everyone happy with that? Yeah. Ah, oh, uh, oh, yeah. quite touching there. Oh. <laughs> just, just. That is an excellent win. <laughs> You've lost that one. He's started. He's bigger than Rex. That's more like it. Well done. Thank you. That's bigger than Rex's. That is bigger. <laughs> All right. Got it? There we go. It's a thumper. And we'll we'll measure that one. Put it on the tally board. So what was the biggest, what was the bigger fish? 40 centimetres? 40. Yeah. yeah. 40. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm only 35. <laughs> Hang on, what's going on at this end? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a tie. No, we can't have a tie. It's a tie. <laughs> 